Oh, hello, great readers. I'm Bo Chan. I'm Nimikum. I'm Van Chan. In this class, I'll read all of you a part of Ulysses. Bess. Oh. Ulysses. James Joyce. Tab. 9 sec 15. But perhaps I am anticipating. He caught himself in that, looked at all, refrained. Mr. Lister. Father didn't want. Oh. Father Dineen. Directly. Swiftly, rickly, creaky, rickly, rickly, he was rickly go. John Eglint into the full. Come. He said. Let us hear what you have to say of Richard and Edmund. You kept them for the last. Didn't you? In asking you to remember those two noble kinsmen, Uncle Richie and Uncle Edmund, Stephen answered, I feel I am asking too much, perhaps. A brother is as easily forgotten as an umbrella. Upwing. Where is your brother? Apothecary's Hall. My wit's done. Ed. Then Cranley. Well, again, now these. Speech. Ship. Speech. Protect. Act speech. They mark to try you. As a Be acted on. Upwing. I am tired of my voice. The voice of Esso. My kingdom for a drink. Oh. You will say those names were already in the chronicles from which he took the stuff of his place. Why did he take them rather than others? Richard. A was in Kirkback. Miss Begotten. Makes love to a widow and what's in a named? Wisdom and terror. A worse and merry widow. Richard the Conqueror. Third brother. Came after William the Conqueror. The other four acts of that play hang limply from that first. Of all his kings, Richard is the only king unshielded by Shakespeare's reverence. The angel of the world. Why is the underplot of King Lear and Richard Manfigo is lifted out of Sydney's? Arcadia and Spatch cocked onto a cultic legend older than history. That was Will's way. John Eglund and Definid. We should not now combine an orsuckle with an excerpt from a novel by George Meredith. Quay Villas Vuz. Moore would say. He puts Bohemia on the Sikosa Mexilis's court Aristotle. Why? Stephen answered himself. 
because the theme of the fuss or the usurping or the adulterous brother or all. 3 and 1 is to Shakespeare. What the poor are not. Always with him. The note of punishment. Punishment from the heart. Punishment from home. Sounds uninterruptedly from the two gentlemen of Rono Amu till Prospero breaks his staff. Buries his certain fathoms in the earth and drowns his book. It doubles itself in the middle of his life. Reflects itself in another. Repeats itself. Protices. The Petuses. Catastases. Catastrophe. It repeats itself again when he is near the grave. When his married daughter Susan, ship of the old block, is accused of adultery. But it was the original sin that darkened his understanding, weakened his will and left in him a strong inclination to evil. The words are those of my lord's bishops of Maynith. An original sin and like original sin, committed by another in whose sin he too has sinned. It is between the lines of his last written words. It is petrified on his tombstone under which her four bones are not to be. This. Age has not withered it. Beauty and peace have not done it away. It is an infinite variety everywhere in the world he has created. In much ado about nothing. Twice in as you like it. In the Tempest. In Hamlet. In measure for me, and in all the other plays which I have not read. He laughed to free his mind from his mind's bondage. Judge Clinton summed up. The truth is midway, he affirmed. He is the ghost and the prince. He is all in all. He is, Stephen said. The boy of Act 1 is the mature man of Act 5. All in all. In Cymbeline, in Othello he is bored and cold. He extends Ectilan. Love of an ideal or a perversion. Like Ossie, he kills the real Carmen. His unremitting intellect is the whole mad eye ceaselessly willing that the more in him shall. Tolfer. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Took Mulligan Cock Ludley. A word of fair. Thark Dome received. Riverbed. And what a character is Igo. To be continued.